Hey guys, are you here with another bit for Blender? In this one, we're going to be talking about knife cutting. I want to show you different ways of bullioning with knife. Uh, we're going to be using vanilla blender and add-ons, and I'll show you what are the differences. Uh, so let's start with vanilla blender, no add-ons. We're going to add a cube, and we're going to duplicate it, Shift D, and we're going to select the other cube with Shift. So select this one, Shift select this one, go to edit mode, and then go to mesh and knife project. And you can see we're getting an error message. Blender is unable to cut it. And the reason why it doesn't work is because we are using something that is not flat. So let's just fix this cube. Let's go to local view. Let's remove these verts, right? And let's cut it with a plane. Okay, so I'm going to select this one, select this one, and... Go to edit mode and then mesh and knife project. Okay, now it worked. So if you're going to see here, uh, it projected uh, this plane onto the cube. Now the problem is that the uh, the knife projection is done in view mode, which means however you align yourself to the view, uh, the knife is going to be projected accordingly. So this is why you get these weird shapes in here. So if I'm, if I'm going to remove this cube and add another cube, okay, and I'm going to go to top view and orthographic and select them again, go to edit mode, mesh and knife project, you'll see now that it got projected properly. Now the problem with this method is that it's not going through, it's just, you know, it's just kind of projecting it on the surface um, according to view, because you can't see that, you know, side uh, face here in the top orthographic is not going to be projected on this face. That's a limitation of Vanilla Blender. Now let's talk about uh, how to do this with machine tools, because it's also possible, right? So let's grab a cube and let's duplicate it, Shift D. Okay, so to enable uh, this option in Machine Tools, you need to open uh, Preferences, and um, here you need to enable uh, this option called Mesh Cut, right? Oh, by the way, all these options are disabled with Machine Tools when it ships, so when you install Machine Tools, you need to en enable all these options. I, I really don't know why this is uh, set like that. Probably Machine likes to answer questions and emails, I don't know. By the way, um, just, you know, enable that thing and uh, you're going to be good, save preferences, and we're good to go. So now when you're going to select this object and this object and go to uh, the uh, uh, right-click menu, you'll see in this new option here called Mesh Cut. So when you cut it, uh, the cutter will disappear and you will see that there is a cut in here created. And you can do this in any uh, orientation, right? And you can do this with any object. So, you know, it's much more advanced than the... Uh, original blender tool but the cutter will disappear and that's a bit annoying so now let's look at hard ops yeah hard ops in my opinion is the most uh, advanced knife cut on this planet so um if you select this cube and this cube and you're gonna go to here to uh bullions and knife and um, this will behave like any other bullion a uh, box cutter will create automatically a cutter's collection which you can turn off with shift 2 so that's very convenient and uh, you can see that uh, you know the cut is created as well out of the cube at any angle as well so this is an advantage of you know in my opinion of hard ops because you can actually now you reuse um, this cutter for you know let's say another cut so here bullions and knife and now you got two knife cuts so there you go guys i hope it helps you out links to all the add-ons like machine tools and hard ops and box cutter in the video description Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.